for some of you guys that watch my channel, you might know what this lovely stuff is. Thanks to my cousin. Let's get back to work. Titanium piston rod. So that's ready to go. I just want to measure, I just want to weigh it and make sure once I get, once I take the piston, see this is my old crankshaft, it's still in. Um, and this is my journal of the, uh, and the rod, or the bearing, or the rod, piston rod is right here. Haven't disassembled this yet. Um, but that's next on the, next on the uh, list, so to speak. I'm gonna put my head back together too. I've got the, the new valves and all that and I've lapped all of the intake valves and uh, or excuse me the exhaust valves and you can't lap titanium valves so I'm not going to do that and uh, I'll probably just polish them up and then put that put this whole assembly back together uh, but she's ready to go she's all cleaned up um, obviously, I need to get new gaskets and all that, but um, really hard to tell, uh, but it, they turned out really well, it seems like. I used this lapping compound, and I lapped them all the way up to 1,200, so I went from 400, and you can see them down there. I went from 400 to 600 to 800, and then finally to 1,200. Well... So I put the two halves together last night. Um, my boy was helping me call Measure Dasher. And now I'm going to start systematically putting the rest of her back together. I am on the downhill side. Um, at this point you can't see what I did, but I replaced the crankshaft. I put all new bearings in. The piston number one bearings, obviously, that was that was what the, the problem was. Um, so what I ended up doing was replacing the piston rod, uh, which is, there's the old piston rod. It got a little hot. <laughs> and what's kind of cool is when um, I got the new piston rod, they come uh, as one piece. And I'm looking at it, and I'm like, man, did, did they send me, and this is titanium, and it's a pretty expensive piece. Uh, and um, I was like, man, did they send me, I, I didn't realize that you had to kind of tap it to break it in two. Um, and then when, when, when it breaks in two, you can see there's uh, break marks um, from the two pieces separating. And when you torque them down, uh, the actual rod almost becomes one unit again. Uh, kind of, kind of a cool little little deal. So uh, I oiled everything down, and uh, she's in. Made sure that the transmission worked properly, and shifted through all the gears. I didn't remove. I didn't do anything with the transmission. Um, it did unfortunately come off one time, so I had to put it back together. And when I did that, I had to make sure the shifting bars were in um, the right place. And, and then I, before I torqued everything back down, um, I made sure that the transmission uh, went through all the gears. All right, so got the clutch on. She's all ready to rock and roll. The next thing I'm going to do is to put the timing chain cover on. And one thing that's pretty important is there's a seat, there's a seal that goes around here um, that comes up through, there's an oil pipe that comes, comes around here from this location down here, right? Comes up and circulates oil through this inlet. So you gotta make sure that you have a good seal, a good fresh seal um, that goes on the, underneath side of your cover underneath here I took mine out because I'm putting in a brand new one right there okay um, 
you got to make sure that you got a good good uh, new one so the oil can circulate because this is one of the most important uh, oil travel ways uh, that the oil comes from the oil pan it starts it basically starts from the oil pan and comes out from the oil pump it comes out here and goes into goes into here and then starts circulating throughout the uh, the engine so that seal is pretty important hello well after some struggles she's back in and one thing that I had to do was I forgot to put these brackets on for the oil cooler so I had already put on the exhaust up here and I had to completely take the exhaust off in order to get those brackets on so make sure that you put the brackets on for the oil cooler before you put the exhaust on all right well So here comes here comes a true test. Let's see if she's even, will even light up for me. Well, I guess that's a good signal. I certainly guess that's a good signal. Oh. I <laughs> got the R1 lights. Man, I'm nervous. Oh, gosh. All right. Man, I don't even... She's in neutral. I'm just going to tap her a little bit. The battery sounded dead. Tipper never tap. All right. <laughs> Give her another tap. Uh oh, I didn't like that noise. She kind of barked. She's trying. Man, I'm nervous. Come on, baby. Come on. <laughs> 